all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of youtube welcome back to enriched entertainment um obviously i'm doing this video uh about a week after the fact and that pretty much just comes down to the fact that i pretty much didn't want to do it as much as i did want to do it for obvious reasons as you all know scott hall unfortunately passed away this last monday he passed away due to uh he had gotten, I guess, hip surgery uh, recently and had a blood clot break loose during the uh, surgery, which ended up causing three heart attacks, and he was put on life support, and they removed that Monday. Uh, he fought for a couple of hours, and ultimately he passed away, unfortunately. So uh, I think... The first time I knew of Scott Hall, like many people, was when he first joined WWF at the time, now WWE, in 1993. And he was probably the first, uh, the first heel that I really, you know, at that age, I was, what, nine, ten years old. And he was the first heel that I actually really kind of thought was cool. You know, even at that age, of course, I thought wrestling was still. 100% legit, and but even then I thought, well, he's a mean guy, he's terrible, he's mean, he does horrible things, but there's something cool about him. And of course, at that age, I didn't know what Scarface was. I had no idea what that was until later in life, so I didn't know that that was basically just a ripoff of that, and that's what, looking back, I kind of think it's funny that he really just, he just, basically rattled off lines from a movie and he got a character out of it that people always remembered and uh, i think you know you hear a lot of people have gone online on social media and said things about him which i think tells you a lot because you'll always anytime someone passes away you'll always get those people that will go online and they'll say things uh about a guy or about a woman and you know try to be not but the i've always found that the amount of people that will go and that will say things that really says a lot and, and i have seen such an outpouring of people online on twitter or uh people on their own youtube shows or are taking time out to say things about scott and so I think that really says a lot about him. Everybody, you know, is basically saying that he was always generous. He would take time to help people out, which, uh, in fact, he uh, is the one that came up, for those who don't know, with the Sting Crow gimmick. That was Scott Hall's idea. And uh, that uh, it was Chris Jericho that he had a match with in WCW, and he was supposed to beat Jericho. and decided to he came up to Jericho after or before the match and said, Hey, let's have you win instead. And then he got yelled at backstage for it and he was willing to take that just because he knew that him losing to Jericho was the right thing to do because Chris Jericho was on his way up. So just things like that. That's always really awesome, I think. Uh I think one of my favorite uh road stories is the uh, story from, I guess they were in London. And this was years ago, and the IRA had apparently started something up, and so all the flights were grounded while they were in London. So they knew they weren't going anywhere. And uh, somehow or another, I guess through a fan maybe, they ended up with some hash. So they were walking around London, looking and they had smoked some at the hotel and i guess and went and ate and then they were walking around london with the rest stopped to break some up and then a cop walks up and scott hall brushed it off whatever he was breaking it up off of and still you know and nothing happened and they all and uh the uh full story you can hear from kevin nash on a shoot interview if you go look that up but uh a lot of people know, you know, everybody knows about when he went to WCW as part of the NWO. And I remember a lot of people at the time thought he was actually still with the WWF and that they were invading. And uh, I don't remember how old I was at that time, but 
Uh, I still thought wrestling was 100% legit at the time. But I also remember, for some reason, I remember that I knew he wasn't with the WWF at the time. I knew he had, he had left. And I knew that Kevin Nash had left. And so I thought that they were invaders. But I also thought that they were just uh, by themselves and that they were kind of almost like an independent kind of invading force. You know what I mean? So uh, we all know what happened there. He got pretty much, they got guaranteed contracts because of the dispute where everybody thought they were going back to WWF when they did that whole uh, fake Diesel and Razor thing. We all know how that went down. The NWO became one of the hottest things on TV, and it ended up sparking basically their, their Monday Night Wars. And uh, it was one of the greatest times in the history of wrestling. So, uh, you know, a lot of people knew about Scott Hall's demons, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of people have those issues. And uh, why well, it was great to see. What was it, however many years ago when DDP kind of helped him and Jake the Snake out? And for those of you who kind of followed that whole journey, you will remember then uh, talk about his hip not being in good shape and having problems then. So uh, for it to be this many years later, I just assume maybe they wanted to wait till he was in better health to uh, kind of uh, maximize his. Uh, chances of making it out which even still this many years later unfortunately he did not so anyway uh, I just wanted to say a quick word about him uh, like I said I know this is late I, want, I didn't want to do it as much as I did want to do it but then I thought you know he deserves as many videos as fans or anybody else is willing to make about him. So anyway, so I just wanted to go ahead and make this video real quick for uh, a couple reasons. One, just to say thank you, Scott Hall, for everything that you did for us. Rest in peace. And I just want to send my condolences out to all of his family and friends and all of the rest of the fans. Thank you.